Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, I have completed three heads of income. That is income from salary, income from house property and profits and gains of business and profession. Now I'm going to start the fourth head that is capital gain. So in this video, I'm going to explain you the theory regarding what is capital gain? What is what are capital assets? What are the different types of capital assets and what are the deemed to be capital asset? These are the basic things which every student must know before going to start the problems because the problems are based on the theory, the concepts. So then only you can be able to attempt the problem. So my suggestion to you, watch all the theory videos first. Take it seriously. Then only you can enjoy working out the problems. So before starting the explanation of this capital gain, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, capital gains any gain arising on the transfer of capital asset during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year. So any gain arising on the transfer of capital asset is called capital gain. Example, a house property was sold. Some shares are sold. These are the examples of capital gain. So here, any, gain, any profits or gain arising from the transfer of capital asset, asset affected in the previous year relevant to the current assessment year will be charged under the head capital gain and shall be deemed of the income in which in the previous year in which the transfer took place. Current assessment year is 22-23. The previous year is 21-22. So during the previous year 21-22 if an SSC has transferred a capital asset or sold a capital asset and he the gain is arising that is called capital gain so capital gains are classified into two categories long term capital gain ltcg and short term capital gain stcg so briefly i'll explain you these are the provisions of income tax act the tax liability will be different for ltcg and stcg for long term capital gain Normally, there's a flat rate of tax of 20%. That means separately we have to calculate the tax on LTCG at 20% flat rate plus surcharge and plus health and education cess at the rate of 4%. If surcharge is applicable, then only surcharge will be there. But compulsorily, health and education cess 4% will be applied. Short term capital gain is included along with other heads of income and taxed at slab rates along with other incomes. Example, a person is having income from salary, income from house property, income from business or profession. So we club all the incomes along with that we include STCG, short term capital gain. So it is taxed along with other incomes at slab rates. That point you have to remember now. Now following are the essential conditions to be satisfied by an SSC to charge an income under the head capital gain. So when an income is chargeable under the head capital gain, some conditions are given. If the SSC satisfies these conditions, then only the gain arising is taxable under the head capital gain. The first is SSC is holding a capital asset. If the SSC is the owner of a capital asset, and he transferred then only capital gain. If he is not the owner, if he is not holding the capital asset, no tax under capital gain. Secondly, during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year, the SSC has transferred the capital asset. If only holding the capital asset, there is no capital gain. Huh? If the SSC has transferred the capital asset during the previous year relevant to the current assessment year, then only it will be taxable under that capital gain. Thirdly, there must be a profit or loss arising on the transfer of capital asset. If there is no profit, no loss, not taxable. 
only if there is a profit on transfer of the capital asset it is taxable lastly such capital gain is not exempted under section 54 in the coming videos i'll explain you what are there under sections 54 so if it is exempted under section 54 then there is no tax if it is not exempted under section 51 it is tax there will be tax so these are the four conditions to be satisfied to make an income taxable under the head capital gain now what is what are capital asset capital asset means any property includes any property of any kind whether it is movable or immobile or tangible or intangible or fixed or circulating however the following first of all capital assets for taxation purpose can be classified into two categories tangible assets and intangible assets under tangible assets again we have non-financial tangible assets and financial tangible assets remember this is not the only theory the problems are based on this provision also the tax rate is different for different purposes so tangible assets non-financial tangible and financial tangible assets for intangible we have self-generated intangible asset and assets purchased for a price any intangible asset which is purchased for a price now tangible <coughs> non-financial asset which are the assets which are called tangible non-financial assets the examples are land building ornaments jewelry etc these are the examples of tangible non-financial assets now tangible financial assets are equity shares debentures bonds units of mutual funds these are few examples of financial tangible assets so non-financial land building or uh, ordinary uh, ornaments jewelry etc for financial equity shares debentures bonds units of mutual fund etc now intangible intangible means the assets which we cannot see but really it exists so which are the intangible assets goodwill of a business or profession we know goodwill is the reputation of a business the goodwill is created due to the good name of the business when a business is having a goodwill good name its earning capacity will be more so goodwill is also a, an asset so intangible asset then right to manufacture a product the company got the business ssc got a right to manufacture a product that is also an intangible then right to carry on any business a particular SSC has a right to carry on the business. So this right is called intangible asset. Tenancy right, then trademark, brand name, etc. These are the examples of intangible assets. Right? Now capital asset meaning it includes any uh, type of property whether fixed or uh, uh, fixed or circulating or tangible or intangible or uh, movable or immobile. But however, the following are not to be considered as capital asset. This is very important. In the coming problem, you must be in a position to decide whether it is a capital asset or not a capital asset. So meaning of capital asset, any type of property, whether it is fixed or circulating, movable or immovable, tangible or intangible. But the following assets are not capital assets, not taxable. What are the exceptions? Personal effects of the SSC, that is articles which are used for personal purpose by the SSC or his family members. So SSC will use a number of personal effects, the personal items which are used by the SSC or their family members. Example, television, refrigerator, similarly scooter, then car. These are the items which are called personal effects. If any gain arising on the transfer of these personal assets, it is not taxable because assets are not capital assets. Example, SSC is having a TV. It is not a capital asset. SSC is having a refrigerator. Not a capital asset. Motor car. Not a capital asset. That point you have to remember. Not taxable. Secondly, note, the personal effect does not include archaeological collection. Income tax has made some provisions that archaeological collections or paintings or drawings or sculptures these are even if it is personal effects 
but income tax act will treat it as a capital asset so if a person transfers archaeological instruments or paintings or drawings or sculpture it is a taxable capital asset that point you have to remember and an exception to the above rule is jewelry jewelry even if it is used for personal purpose income tax act says jewelry is a capital asset the gain arising on transfer of personal jewelry jewelry that is also a taxable capital gain next is uh, the house property in which the assessee lives is considered as capital asset the house property even if it is used for personal purpose income tax act says it is a capital asset and gain arising on the transfer of house that is also tax these are the exceptions now other items which are not taxable are agricultural land situated in rural area so income tax act says if a person is having agricultural land in a rural area and during the previous year he has transferred the agricultural land the gain is not taxable because agricultural land in rural area itself is not a capital asset ha huh? agricultural land in urban area is a capital asset and gain arising on the transfer of agricultural land in urban area is a taxable capital gain that point you have to remember next one any item such as stock in trade that is raw material kept for manufacturing so if any raw material is kept for manufacturing and that raw material is sold then that gain is not taxable that is not a capital asset at all then 7% gold bonds 1980 national defense gold bond 1980 issued by the central government and uh, gold deposit bonds issued under gold deposit scheme 1999 special bearer bond 1991 these are the assets these are the assets which are not called capital asset and any gain arising on these assets are not taxable now deemed to be capital asset in some cases in reality it is not an asset not a capital asset but income tax act will treat to those assets as capital asset and any gain arising on those assets will be taxable that's why it is called deemed to be capital asset just like capital asset example share of a partner in a partnership firm the share of a partner in a partnership firm is a capital asset deemed to be capital asset next right to subscribe for shares right shares they are called a company will issue the new shares to the existing shares existing shareholders if you are an existing shareholders already holding some shares then the company may offer to you some new shares if you purchase those rights or you can transfer the rights to another person so this right to transfer the shares is a deemed to be capital asset next leasehold rights or tenancy tenancy right if a person has got the right on lease and he has transfer the right of the lease that is also a capital asset then foreign currency mining rights industrial licenses acquired for a price these are called deemed asset in examination you may get a theory question also what do you mean by capital asset what are the different types of capital assets like a tangible intangible then financial non financial all these things you have to write apart from that which are the assets which are not to be treated as capital asset right and deemed asset so inshallah we'll continue our discussion more discussion on capital gain in the next video